Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, an effects cookbook for Motion 5. In this excerpt, I'm going to show you how to motion track a particle system to create a very cool effect. Here's our polar bear clip. Load it up into here. Remember, when you click import, it will always be centered. Now, we've got our bear. But I've also added another folder, what Motion calls groups. You can create as many folders or groups as you want. To create a folder, right mouse click in the gray area of the layers panel and select New Group. We'll work with groups more as we start to move forward because our effects are going to get more complex. With the smoke group selected, it's just a folder that holds stuff. Let's go back to the library. And in this case, let's go down to Particle Emitters. Everything in here is a particle system. Everything here is animated, and if all you do is open motion, go to particle emitters, and look at the stuff in this folder, there's some amazing animated pieces of work here. Pyrotechnics and, and abstract patterns and smoke. I have different smoke effects that we can use here, and just by clicking on it, you can take a look at it. Well, in this particular case, I want to look at the smoky variation. You can see it up there. It's not a heavy amount of smoke. It's just kind of light. So I've selected a folder, and when I click Apply, it puts that effect inside the selected folder. With the folder selected, I'm going to grab the white circle and drag it and put it up a bit closer to the nose of the bear. And now I'm going to select the folder. And with the folder selected, go down to the Behavior menu, Motion Tracking, Match Move. And I'm going to move the folder based upon, there's our tracking device, based upon this corner of the mouth right there. And then show the HUD, F7. And we're just going to track it for horizontal position. Click Analyze. Now, when you're analyzing, the position of the shape may change in a sort of unpleasant ways. Don't worry, analysis is concentrating on setting the point, not making the effect look smooth. Once the analysis is complete, then you can worry about how smooth the effect looks. Okay, the analysis is done. Close the HUD. Go back to the beginning and deselect so nothing is there. Let's just drag across here. Okay, the first thing is the smoke is a little bit off. So let's select the folder and just drag by this dot. Drag a little bit closer to the nose. There we go. And now play it. Is that not cool? Look at that. Except this, the, it's going straight up. I'd like to change the angle of it, so I'll select the smoke group itself, show the HUD, and change the angle, the emission angle, this blue arrow, which determines the direction the smoke is going to flow. I'm going to rotate it out just a bit and drag it out just a bit. So what happens now is this is going to blow out and then go up. And as I watch this, Is that not cool or what? Look at that. The smoke just sort of trails around, makes it look like it's a desperately cold morning, and then flows out and then goes up. A very simple combination of motion tracking with a particle system, and we just tweaked it a little bit. We, didn't, we don't even have to understand how particles work. My feeling is if I can get the effect done in 10 minutes and charge them for four hours of time, I would much prefer to do that than charge them for 10 minutes and take four hours to get the effect done. <laughs> At some point, we got to pay the rent. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, an effects cookbook looking at Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 106. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. 
you can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than six hundred movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.